welcome back. Today I have got you another top 10 side tweaks which compatible on iOS 13 to 13.4. Now let's go to the first one. If you take a look on the top, you can see there is no notch and the tweaks allow you to hide the notch completely from the iPhone 8 and above. So if you have the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 or, or the iPhone 11, it does um, remove the notch. You can see on the top here. So it just um, give you a black effect. So it seems like um, the notch is removed. And you can go to settings. So for the tweaks, it does work system wide. So whether you go into any apps, so um, the notch will be always disappear. Let's say I go to maps. You can see the notch is removed here. And let's go to the app store. You can see there is um, no notch as well. So if I swipe here, you can see, so there is no noise. Unfortunately, for the tweak, it doesn't work on lock screen. You can see the noise isn't high. But as soon as I unlock my phone, and you can see the noise is high after I unlock. Let's go to the next one. So you can see on the weather icon here. So it has been changed. So we can see um, the icon that represents the weather condition. And also we have um, the temperature here and on the top on the left status bar um, you can see the temperature here it is in Fahrenheit and you can um, see the number but sometimes for me the trick doesn't work well sometimes so you need to open the app and until it is refreshed in the app and then you can see the number on the left status bar and sometimes it took about one to two minutes so that's why it's still zero so you can adjust the tweak in settings as well go back to settings after that go to the tweaks so we can refresh the cities and then you have refresh timer as well so you can set um, the time that it is automatically refreshed and we can enable Celsius and show status bar icon which is on the left here jump straight into the next one this is the tweak that gives you a new look on uh, pop-up so it will give you a new background, a new style for pop-up and alerts. So I can go to photo for an example. I can just click on the delete button. And now you can see it, it's, it is pop-up and blank out the background. So we have delete and cancel button just like usual. But we can see the new background here it is um, black. You just click on cancel, it will go back. And then if you go into like, um, for example, I can go to side here. So we have um, different pop-up depend on the app itself. So if I click on about, you can see a new alert here. So we have blur background right here. And I can close, it will go back. Audio mic is very awesome. It allows you to play multiple audio at the same time. So for example, if I play the music and then I jump from music to YouTube, and when I play um, the audio from YouTube, the music is still playing. So this is the feature that I need on iOS. And I hope um, Apple will inject this into the new iOS update. So for example, iOS 14. So now let me demonstrate for you. So if I play the music um, from music app, so I can click on play. So I'm gonna um, put the volume down and then we can go to let um, confirm. So and on control center, you can see the music is playing and now I can go to um, YouTube. So let's play this one. And now you can see um, this video is playing and now I can pause it. So if we go to music you can see the music is still playing right here so you can see right here it doesn't pause this simple trick will give you a new lock on music player especially on your iphone lock screen so if you play music you can see we have the clean background so we got a new look and we have we can just see the title pause and forward and backward button and we have the um, progress bar here so except the background it is um, very clean now you can change the color on status bar so from the iPhone 8 and above so you can see here so I got a new status bar color on my iPhone 8 and now let's go to settings to change a new color so we can go to so we can go to this one and we can select a background so you can select um, the color that you like and then click on done and 
on this option you can hide some element from the status bar you can see we can hide status bar on switcher we can hide we can enable status bar in folder or we can hide carry on bar so pretty much everything from here we can hide all the element on status bar so so now we can do spring to take effect You can see we have got a new color on status bar on my iPhone 8. Dictionary first allow you to see the definition inside Spotlight. It will pop up dictionary first when you um, invoke Spotlight. So for example, if I invoke Spotlight and I type some word, let's say hello. And then you can see the dictionary on the top here. So we can see the definition of the word. So it is um, very convenient and very useful when you want to check some word. And it will pop up in immediately on the top. For the new tweak, it allows you to disable some element from notification. Or you can also disable home bar. You can see here. So you can enable this button to disable home bar. And you can just um, hide. So we can enable this one. It will disable no today view. We can disable um, spotlight. So we can disable pull pull down spotlight feature. And you can see here. So we can disable and hide the camera. And then you can just apply to take a fit. So now at the bottom, there is no home bar anymore. You can see here. iPad bar 13 will add the status bar from iPad to your non-iPhone 8 device. You can see how the iPhone SE right here. And on the top, we have the status bar just like the iPad. So on the left, we have clock. And on the right, we have um, the battery percentage. And we have um, Wi-Fi and the airplane mode right here. And we also have the battery percentage inside the battery as well. So you can go to settings uh, and there are a bunch of options that you can customize from here. So we can um, enable percentage in the battery and we can show item. So you can um, disable item or enable some item from the status bar. So you can also hide as well or you can also show it. And then you can go to here. So we can customize the clock and the language and we have both phone and so on and we have phone size and it is very awesome for the older device like I have here the iPhone SE this import trick allow you to have the iPhone 8 gesture on your older iPhone so like I have here the iPhone SE so you can see here I just swipe up to go back home and I can swipe it very smoothly and I can swipe up to go to multitasking or I can go to my iPhone lock screen so we have flashlight button I can force touch and force touch to this ball or I can go to camera and it's very awesome and we have quick take feature as well so you can do this just like um, the, I, the new iPhone the iPhone 11 Pro you can see here so it's very awesome we can also pull down the control center just like the iPhone 8 and finally thanks for watching I hope you like all of these tweaks and then we'll catch you guys in the next one